A person is watching a boat from the top of a lighthouse. The boat is approaching the lighthouse directly. When first noticed, the angle of depression to the boat is 14 degrees and 52 minutes. When the boat stops, the angle of depression is 45 degrees and 10 minutes. The lighthouse is 200 feet tall. How far did the boat travel from when it was first noticed until it stopped? Round your answer to the hundredths place. So first, let's draw the, the problem. So we're gonna draw the lighthouse. Just a quick little thing. All right. Uh, okay, there it is. There's a lighthouse. It says the lighthouse is 200 feet tall, so let's label that really quick. 200 feet. Um, when first notice the angle of depression to the boat is 14 degrees and 52 minutes. So let me first draw a line from here, and I'm going to pretend that this box, uh, or actually let's draw two boxes, because we know there's two places where the boat is. So it says that the boat is approaching the lighthouse directly. So it's going like this. So it says that when it's first noticed, when it was first noticed, I'm going to assume that it's here because then it says it moved and ended up somewhere else. So this is when it was first noticed. So let's draw, let's draw that angle. Oops. And then it says when the boat stops, the angle of depression is 45 degrees and 10 minutes. So let's draw that angle as well so now we have these two triangles and now let's convert the angle of the, the angles of depression to uh decimal so it'll be easier to work with so when the boat stops or when the first noticed okay so when the boat is first noticed it's at 14 degrees and 52 minutes so to the to um to convert degrees to, uh, I mean, minutes to degrees, we have to do 52 over 1 times 1 over 60, or 52 over 60, which is 52 over 60 is 0 0.866 or 0 0.87. So 14 degrees and 52 minutes equals 14.87 degrees. Um, and then let's put boat stops. It says that the angle of depression is 45 degrees and 10 minutes. So let's convert these 10 minutes to degrees. It's the same thing. 10 over 1 times 1 over 60 equals 10 over 60 or 1 about 1.17. Or 0 0.17. So 0 0.17. So 45 degrees in 10 minutes equals 45.17 degrees. Okay, so now that we have that, let's just put it into our picture. So I'm going to draw the horizontal line right here. I forgot what it was called. Just so that we have a line to draw our triangles to. Let's connect it right there so now we have two triangles we have or well we have like four triangles we have this one right here uh this bigger one right here and then this one right here this smaller one and then this bigger one it looks kind of confusing because i didn't do the shading right but we'll work with it so it says that when the when the boat is first noticed which is back here the angle of depression of the boat or to the boat is four, 14 point 14 degrees and 52 minutes which we know which we worked out to be 14.87 degrees so this right here is the triangle for when it's first noticed so this degree is going to be 14.87 and then it says that when the boat stops the angle of depression is 45.17 degrees so that's going to go on to this triangle right here. Um, so let's put 45.17 degrees. And it says, how far did the boat travel from when it was first noticed until it stopped? So in order to do that, we have to find the length of this side of this triangle and the length of this side of this triangle and subtract it from one another. Mm, yeah. 
So we're going to label the bigger side Y and this smaller side X. Just like that. And so now let's solve for each one. So we're told that the height of the lighthouse is 200, 200 feet. So that means that this line and this line are also 200 feet because remember, this line goes to the top of the lighthouse, the same place that this is going. So this is going to be 200 and this is also going to be 200 feet. So now, since we have this angle right here, I'm going to solve for the bigger one first. So for Y, since we have 14.87 right here and we're given 200 and we need to find y we have a degree we have its opposite and it's adjacent so we can use tangent um because remember tangent equals opposite over adjacent so let's just plug in the values so tangent of 14.87 degrees equals opposite is 200 over y so let's just solve for that solve for y let's get our calculator in my calculator in my calculator you have to like work backwards so we're going to put 200 divided by 14.87 tan equals so is that right did i put divide hold on it's um 200 divided by 14.87 tan equals okay so y equals um let's say 753 it says to round to the answer to the hundredth place so we're also going to round this to the hundredths place um so i know you're not supposed to round before um getting the final answer but i'm going to write this down so let's run to the nearest hundredth, which is 753.242. So here we have y. Now let's find x. We're going to do the same thing. We have the opposite and the adjacent side. But now we're going to be using 45.17 degrees instead of 14.87. So we're going to be using tangent as well. 45.17 degrees equals 200 over x. So let's do the same thing. Tangent of 45.17. And let's plug it in. 45.17. Oh, no. 200 divided by 45.17. Tangent equals 198.817. X equals 198.817. So now we're going to subtract Y and x to get this right here this to find because remember this is where the boat started this is where it stopped so get to get this right here we're going to subtract y and x so y let's just plug it in 753.242 minus 198.817 right yeah equals 554.425 feet and that is going about that's about our answer or you know what just to make it more accurate let's um let let's work this out so 200 divided by 14.87 Tangent equals 753.242293 minus, and then um, 45, nope, 200 divided by 45.17 tangent equals 198.816668. Let's just plug that into the calculator, 753.242293 minus 198.816636 equals 
554, about, yeah, kind of the same thing. So 554.426, because we're rounding to the nearest hundredth feet. So the final answer is 554.426 um, feet. Thank you.